very good evening everybody so we'll start with materia medica session and we have discussed many remedies from third year syllabus one more to start with a generally overlooked remedy or not generally prescribed in homeopathic practice but have very much clinical significance specifically in psychotic rheumatism gouty rheumatism this is a wonderful remedy to be learned and that is the benzoic acid i'll share one case it was again a case way back this fellow the 40 years man who came to me with a chronic uh, gouty rheumatism who was a diagnosed case of rheumatism having very severe knee swollen and both the great Toes swollen. He was not. It was so painful that it was difficult for him to walk. Bilateral asymmetrical involvement was there. He he was complaining of very severe tearing pain, stitching pain in the joint. And he, when I asked the history, he said that, doctor, what has happened? One years back, I had. A, a problem i had a very severe urinary tract infection there was a pus which was coming out from my urethra so i went to a doctor he said to do a certain test and why vdrl test was positive he has given me antibiotics i have consumed antibiotics for 10 days he has given the course of 10 days it stopped immediately within the first two days it has stopped completely but i have completed the course but since then i have started getting the joint pains first attack i got very severe attack it was and then i have shown to the orthopedician he said that it might be gout he checked my uric acid and uric acid was too much increased so he asked me to restrict certain food in the diet and he has given me some anti inflammatory medicines and other medicine with that i was much better but it was recurring again and again whenever i used to stop the painkillers it used to aggravate he has given me one remedy called as colchi colchi sin tablets like that it was there it was way back because that was the remedy which was in use i used to consume that remedy but still my uric acid levels were not dropped and there after often on often on i used to get uh, suffered a lot someone said it might be a rheumatism also they have given me steroids but steroid didn't help and still the pain is there what has happened after consuming all those medicines i started getting very severe urinary problems my urine becomes scanty it has there was a tremendous burning while passing the urine then they have given again antibiotics they asked me to consume more water but still urine color was very dark most important was it was very 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 offensive i have told my doctor that my urine is becoming very strong he said it is because of medicines you are consuming you take more water it will settle but it has not settled so this was the case and when i observed his joints the knees were swollen the great toes were swollen and there were nodosities on the joints those are gouty nodes nodosity so whenever patient is having in such at the age of 40 years of age it has started post gonococcal arthritis second important thing the big joints gets got involved where the swelling was there it was red inflamed and one more modality which he has mentioned doctor day time i can manage the pains but at night it becomes so aggravated it troubles me a lot so um, i looked towards him the most important feature was there that he was absolutely debilitated because of that so debilitated 
person who is suffering from gouty arthritis with arthritis bilaterally symmetrical, polyarthritis, it is not single joint which was involved and associated with a very offensive strong urine, I thought about benzoic acid. So I started benzoic acid directly 30 potency in repeated doses for a week and asked to come after a week. His uric acid, when I started treatment, it was nearly about 9.45 like that. So I have given it and asked him to meet me after a week. When he came after a week, there was much difference. 50% his pain was settled, swelling was reduced. So I have continued him on same medicines for another week. And after another week, 15, that means after starting the treatment, 15 days after, I asked him to do the uric acid. I checked the uric acid and uric acid was drastically reduced. It has reduced to 6.5 after within span of 15 days. And no more allopathic medicines were given. I have stopped those medicines. Second important thing, important thing, after 15 days, the pain has reduced much. He was able to walk very clearly, knee fusion which has settled over there. And then I have continued him for, I asked him to continue medicine for uh, six months after the benzoic acid 30, I have shifted him on 200 in, pre in frequent doses very occasionally and he settled completely with the help of that remedy. It is a very important remedy specifically from, for the gonococcal arthritis or gonococcal gouty rheumatism, a very important remedy. One should not forget when, if there is a history of suppressed gonorrhea leading to the specific arthritis, and if it is not single, it is polyarthritis. It is called the arthritis vega. That is the terminology used by Allen in his book. That is, it is an inflammatory arthritis involving many joints, polyarthritis, and generally those are bilaterally symmetrical. That is very typical meaning of it. So this, if it is so, and if the person founds to be debilitated, if the urine is dark and very offensive basically, then you must think about the benzoic acid. And it is the wonderful remedy in such types of cases. In acute states, a colchicum is a good remedy. Colchicum, you, you will get acute attacks of um, gouty rheumatism and colchicum is a wonderful remedy to start with. There is also a dark urine, but there is a lot of sediments, white sediments generally, or inky urine you can get in colchicum. There is also albumin and sugar you can get in colchicum. That is the difference where you can differentiate the remedy. The associated or concomitants, those are very important. The urine which is inky or dark colored, putrid, decomposed, blood, containing blood, albumin, sugar, that is the colchicum urination. But in colchicum, it is acute attack is more strong where patient doesn't allow you to touch the joint. It gets aggravated tremendously. Here it is a chronic one in benzoic acid. So you can differentiate the remedies on the basis of how it presents so that it becomes easy for us to understand. So always think about the colchicum specifically when it is an acute attack, when it is chronic, think about the benzoic acid. So let us go with the book, Allen's keynotes, benzoic acid. A gouty rheumatic diathesis engrafted on gonorrheal or syphilitic patient. First sentence you have to understand. It indicates it is not an acute gout. It is not an acute remedy. It is a remedy covering psychotic miasm as well as syphilitic miasm. Both things, both are very important. It is psychosyphilitic remedy, a deep acting remedy. So debility is the characteristic of acid. But here benzoic acid, it is gouty debilitated persons. And generally post gonococcal, that is more important. And very occasionally the post syphilitic also. Gouty concretions, very important word. Concretions means it is gouty depositions. Lot of crystals of uric acids are there and which creates basically the nodosities over there. They de get deposited on the joint and it remains for longer time of duration. The joints become inflamed and hard basically because of 
such a deposition. That is what is called as a gouty concretion. Sometimes these concretions can develop stones also, renal calcula also. That is more important thing which can happen because of this. So this is a very important word which you have to understand. The second word which you have to understand is arthritis vega. Arthritis vega is an inflammatory polyarthritis. Generally, it involves bilaterally symmetrical joints. Generally, a big joint gets inflamed over there. It looks like a rheumatoid, but generally it is not rheumatoid, more of a gouty metabolic disorder, metabolic arthritis is there. So, a presentation by making rheumatoid arthritis, presenting a gouty rheumatism is the benzoic acid. So, benzoic acid, think over it that it is the polyarthritis generally involving and chronic arthritis involving both big joints, specifically of lower extremity. Especially the knees. See what he says. Especially the knees. Knees are very common site of involvement. Crack, crack, cracking on motion. Cracking. It cracks during the movement of the knee joint. That is very important. It looks like osteo, but it is not osteo. There is inflammatory signs of inflammation are marked. Gouty concretions, nodosities. So that is nodosities are these are the nodes, nodules which develops because of the gouty uric acid deposition. The three remedies which he has mentioned over there is Barberis vulgaris. Yes, definitely wonderful remedy. In fact, I will suggest that. You can give Barberis vulgaris Q along with that to remove the crystals of uric acid. In acute gout as well as chronic gout, if you want to remove the uric acid or release the uric acid very fast, Barberis vulgaris Q is very important. Second remedy which he has mentioned is lithium carb. But lithium carb, yes, gouty rheumatism is there. But in lithium carb, it is a remedy for rheumatic heart disease. The heart involvement is very marked. So, it is an inflammatory arthritis as well as gouty arthritis. Both are covered under the lithium carb. Lysine, syphilitic arthritis you can get over there. But lysine, the presentation is rather different. It's not so common. See the bold, it has been written bold by Allen. What he says, urine is dark brown. Very, very, very important. Nitric acid, benzoic acid. The urine is very, very dark color, dark brown. And the urinous odor is highly intensified. Very strong odor. That is very difficult. Even in nitric acid, you get the typical urine. It smells like a horse's urine. That is, that is, that strongness is there in nitric acid. Nitric acid is also a good remedy for gouty arthritis. It also covers. There is also debility. That is also a psychosyphilitic remedy. But the type of pains, they are rather different in nitric acid. It is splinter-like pains. There are generally in mucocutaneous um, margins, which are very commonly get affected in nitric acid, which are not there with the benzoic acid. So, urine is dark brown and urine's odor highly intensified. Enuresis nocturna of delicate children. Nocturnal enuresis. Bedwetting. Of a delicate children, very specific word, those who are delicate, the children who are delicate, their bedwetting is there. That This is one remedy to be think of. One more, most common remedy in bedwetting is causticum. But even belladonna also has the same future. Aneris is nocturnal of delicate children, dribbling urine of old men with enlarged prostate. This is a psychotic miasm, enlarged prostate. Prostate is nothing but the psychotic manifestation. Old people who suffer from enlarged prostate with dribbling of urine. Urine is drop by drop involuntarily passed. This is the remedy one should think. Strong characteristic odor. Yes, that is the very typical, very specific of the benzoic acid. If the patient complains, patient's uh, child is brought to you and patient complains, the doctor he is having the daily bed wetting and one thing we have to tell you that his urine is very, very offensive. It's very difficult to wash that. It smells a lot. Then for that bedwetting child, where urine is very highly strong uh, odor, 
then think about this remedy that is benzoic acid. Excess of uric acid, that is another feature. That's what I have told you in that case, that uric acid levels are very high in such types of cases. You can get even sometimes 10, 11, 12 also. Cutter of bladder after suppressed gonorrhea. Cutter of bladder. It is a wonderful remedy for cystitis. And that cystitis is generally because of the very strong urine which develops over the cutter of the bladder. And it is post gonorrhea. That is very important. So it itself suggests that this is a psychotic remedy. Very strongly psychotic remedy. Suppressed gonorrhea leading to cystitis. Suppressed gonorrhea leading to the urinary tract affections. Suppressed gonorrhea leading to the gouty rheumatism. This is very important remedy. Generally, this remedy, we never think about the GI features, but GI features are also important. Diarrhea of children. The diarrhea is white, very offensive, exhausting liquid stools running right through the diaper, like podophile. It is profuse diarrhea. And it, it comes out of diaper, that is very important, and it is very, very, very offensive. Along with very offensive urine, and of a deep red color urine. So urine, diarrhea associated with dark urine, offensive diarrhea, offensive urine, offensive diarrhea, profuse diarrhea with scanty urine, with a high colored, very offensive urine, think about the benzoic acid, where the child gets debilitated, weak because of that. So we have to correlate the symptoms. We have to correlate the debility of benzoic acid, then diarrhea of benzoic acid, generally profuse diarrhea, where the stools are very profuse and they come out of diaper, then they are um, white in color and urine is very offensive and very deep red color. So this combination, if you get, then think about the benzoic acid in such types of cases. Cough, it is with expectation of green mucus like natrum sulfuricum. Natrum self, again, a pink king of antipsychotic remedy, where the expectoration is greenish in color. Here also you get the similar greenish mucus. Cup extreme weariness and lassitude. Weariness, lassitude, acid group. It is the, these are the features. So, cup associated with lassitude, cup associated with weakness, cup associated, cup with greenish expectoration. Think about the benzoic acid. The last feature which he has mentioned is pain, pains. The pains are tearing, stitching in the large joints of big joints of big toe. Redness and swelling of joint. See, very important feature, large joints gets involved. Then second important, great toe is getting involved over there. It is inflamed, it is chronic, it is tearing, it is stitching. And second important thing, what he says is the, there is redness and swelling of joint associated with aggravation of the pain, specifically at night. Night aggravation is because of syphilitic uh, tendency. It is psychosyphilitic remedy. And that specific modality of syphilitic myodo is there with this remedy. So this is a wonderful remedy, in specifically in gouty rheumatism, where rheumatism involves bilaterally symmetrical big joints, effusion in the knees, great toes gets involved, where the neurosities are there, and typical, very offensive, scanty, dark-colored urine that is important. Of it. See the relationship. There is one remedy which he has mentioned is copaiva. Copaiva is a remedy for gonorrhea. And here it is, it is close to the benzoic acid. Nitric acid, already we have discussed. Feltori, no, no, it is ferrum metallicum, that is remedy. Then Thuja, especially enuresis after the nitric acid has failed. Thuja is also king of antipsychotic, where you can get such types of uh, um, gouty rheumatism. Barbes, already we have discussed. Lithium carb also we have discussed in arthritic complaint. Lithium carb, think that there are two remedies, Calmia latiafola and lithium carb for specifically the rheumatic heart diseases. And in Calmia, it is a descending rheumatism 
Kalmia is also gouty for gouty rheumatism, um, but as well as all inflammatory rheumatism. Similarly, lithium carb is also for both gouty and inflammatory rheumatism. This remedy is useful after colchicum fails in gout. If you give the colchicum and it fails, think about the benzoic acid. This is the practical hint given by Alice. After abuse of copaiva in separation of gonorrhea, if you feel it is a copaiva and you have given copaiva and it is not working, think about the benzoic acid. This is one remedy. This is one more hint. And last sentence is most important sentence. Incompatible to the wine which aggravates urinary gouty and rheumatic affection. Those persons who gets aggravated by drinking wine, specifically joint affections, more commonly benzoic acid is wonderful remedy in such cases. So, this remedy has a big significance, clinical significance. Very important remedy in chronic gouty rheumatism where which is associated with very scanty, dark-colored, offensive urine, dark red urine, many times associated with profuse diarrhea in children. It is also a good remedy for aneurysis, nocturna, associated with dark urination. It is a good remedy for cystitis, very important in cystitis. So one should not forget the benzoic acid. You can repeat it in low potencies. And later on, infrequent doses in large put, you know, or high potencies. So this remedy one should not miss in practice. And that's why we have discussed the benzoic acid. So tomorrow we'll start with another remedy. If any query regarding benzoic acid, we can discuss. Otherwise, we'll complete the today's session. A short remedy, but it is a wonderful remedy to be, to be learned. Any question? So we'll conclude today's session. We'll meet tomorrow again with new remedy and continue with the Matara Medica session. Thanks a lot and good night.